free agency coming up here really quick. We're going to start to really expand this roster a little bit. We're going to sign players. And ultimately, before we start next year's season, you're going to have to cut some players. In this video, we're going to do unexpected cut candidates. Four players here. The players that I picked would be a surprise if the Detroit Lions cut them. So Tracy Walker, in my opinion, is not going to be a surprise. So I didn't add him on to this list. So we're going to get into these players. And this is what happens when your roster gets better and you're consistently drafting well and signing players and free agents. You're going to have players that's going to get cut that may be a shock because they contributed to this team the last couple years and we're used to seeing them. So that's what we got going on for this video, folks. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get to 500 likes. Let Brad Holmes cook. Smash that like button. Let him cook. Push the video out there. We are good. You look at the Detroit Lions cap space right now. We got $48 million in cap. They can cut players that's going to save money like a Tracy Walker. Add another around $10 million. There are more. So the Lions are good fiscally. And these players that I picked for cut candidates, it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with production. So keep that in your mind. The first player that I got would be a surprise cut candidate, Malcolm Rodriguez, the young linebacker we picked up a couple years ago in the NFL draft. He's been a good piece to the Detroit Lions linebacking core. But if you look at last year, boy, I tell you what, Malcolm Rodriguez, he got pushed down the depth chart. Why is that? Because Derek Barnes came in and he took a lot over from Malcolm. And then we went and drafted Jack Campbell and you got Alex Anzalone. And we look at what Malcolm did this past year. He played on special teams, injuries, uh, significant injuries. He's on defense. He actually played offense because the Lions were needing useful help when it comes to fullback, and that's kind of what he was doing over there. But if you look at what the Lions are going to continue to go on right now, they're going to go and get better roster. So you want to expect him to be a fullback. And they may get better at the, the depth chart at linebacker, and he could be gone. Again, he's a little bit undersized, but it, I don't think that's much of the issue. And I don't think it, it's really due to the stats. The fact that the Lions are just trying to get better at the roster position. They are. And so I think it's possible that Malcolm Rodriguez could get cut. And it's not a bad thing. It means he just got better at linebacker. But I got a question for you. Should the Lions cut Malcolm Rodriguez? C for cut, K for keep. Let me know in the comments below. Folks, I got to tell you about a sponsor of today's video, and that's Game Time. And you all know I love Game Time. With killer deals, last-minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed, you can stop getting, you stop worrying and getting hyped for the fun that you're going to have. It is easy to find and buy tickets in every kind of event in your area, whether that's sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever, with their lowest prices guaranteed, it is the Game time guaranteed, which means you always get the best price. You find tickets in the same area, section row or less. Game time will credit you 110% of the difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. In the middle screenshot, by the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where your seat is, and you move your phone left to right, and you can see the area like a 3D live photo. It's simple. You go into the app, you plug in what you want, you put in Lions Chat, you get $20 off your very first purchase. Again, go to the redeem code section, plug in Lions Chat to get $20 off. You need an email, terms due to apply, create an account, and you'll make and save a little bit of money. So get game time, folks. The link is going to be in the description and comment section of this video. If you're buying Lions tickets this year, make sure you use the game time. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices, guaranteed. The next player that is a cut candidate, in my opinion, is John Kaminsky. Now, this one is a little bit of lack production. We signed him to an extension this past offseason, thinking he would be a big piece to the Detroit Lions, but he kind of was not a big piece. He didn't do the production we fully expect him to have. He kind of simmered off a little bit. And if that continues in training camp, the Detroit Lions could look to replace a John Kaminsky. It save a little bit of money and maybe they get better, whether it be free agency or the NFL draft at that position. But we definitely need John Kaminsky to be out there and help the Detroit Lions defensive line. I would be shocked, in all honesty, if he was cut. I think they give him another year to figure this thing out. 
because he is a good player to have in the locker room. He did produce last year. He just fell off a little bit this year. It was something that we don't want to see consistently going forward. We want to see him produce because we need him on that defensive line. But, folks, it's all about what you do on the field. Last year, he was a little bit of a lackluster, and that's something I don't like seeing, and obviously it's something like you don't like seeing. But if this trend continues through, through minicamp and training camp, if he doesn't start to get better, if he doesn't start producing a little bit in, in those practices, they could look to go in a different direction if you ask me. It is possible. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it is possible. It is. So again, folks, let me know right now. Should the Detroit Lions cut Malcolm Rodriguez or John Kaminsky? Those names are going to be in the comment section. Put C for cut or K for keep. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next player on my list that potentially could get cut is Lions defensive tackle Levi Anwuzurike. We drafted him the first draft with Brad Holmes. Expecting this guy to be a big piece to the Lions defensive line. He hasn't done a whole lot. He did play this year, and that is a good thing. He did play this year. But the production was significantly down, and he's a second-round pick. If the Lions are trying to get better, they could draft a defensive tackle, resulting in the loss of Levi and Wuzurike. Now, contract's not a big deal. It's not. Contract, cap hit, all of that's not a big deal. It's not his age. None of that. All that stuff is good. And that's why that should be a reason why Levi is on the team. Because it's not gonna be a big deal in regards to contract. But it's his production. Production. He did not do a lot this year. Look at it. Four solo tackles, five combined, one tackle for loss, two quarterbacks, two. Quarterback hits, he did have a couple sacks, and that did help. But a second-round pick, somebody whom we got to rely on significantly, somebody who we drafted thinking was going to be kind of a cornerstone to this defensive line, somebody who we can groom and get better year in and year out, he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it. I mean, look, I'm happy he played last year. He did more than I expected. But it's no time to... Be messing around with hope when you're trying to get to a Super Bowl. you got to have production. And he has a little bit lack of production. So I think he probably doesn't make the team. I think it's going to be close. It still would be a shock because he's such a high draft pick and he played last year. But, man, you've got to produce. And we're running out of time with some of these players. We're running out of patience with some of these players. And we need these guys to produce. Now, there's one player left on my list that would be a surprise cut. It's, I got to tell you what, this, this list is difficult because we've done so good contractually, drafting, and young players. And it's hard to cut young players because they're young and cheap. So it was a difficult list. But the last player on my list, tight end James Houston. James Houston, we thought this guy, when we drafted him, would be the Lions' number two tight end. Injuries has allowed him not to do that. He's been injured on the sideline. We wanted him to become tight end two. We drafted him around five. Expect to be around three pick. He didn't do anything last year. He didn't really do anything this year. And it hurt the Lions' A little bit. Again, his contract's no deal. Four-year deal, almost four million. Dead cap hit, nothing. It has nothing to do with his contract. It has nothing to do with money. It is injury and ability to stay on the field. And that has been extremely difficult for the 25-year-old here. He's got to get on the field and start to make some plays. He needs to come out there and get it done because he is cheap. He is young. We want these young players to expand their horizons. We do. 
and it's just not happening right now when you look at the 6-4 tight end who we thought was going to take the next step. Two, re two receptions, 28 yards, zero touchdowns, an average of 14. That's booty cheeks right there. It's absolute butt cheeks to have that type of production. So he's got to come into minicamp, got to come into training camp, and make some legit noise and get on the field and do a good job. So question for you. Should the Lions cut James Mitchell? C for cut, K for keep. Let me know in the comments below. I'm all about production, folks. That's what I'm about. And if he's not producing, I'm fine with letting him walk. I want the best, best 53, period. I don't care that you're drafted last year. If you're still doing the same old thing, still injured, you may have to go in a different direction. You know, we want to see that jump. We want to see these players take the next step. But if you're not on the field, we got to stop with these injury-prone players. It is something that has been plaguing the Lions for a amount of time, and we need to get better at that realm. Having players that can stay on the field, having players that makes a difference, catching footballs and doing what they are paid to do, the job. So it is what it is. Folks, we're going to be dropping content every single day. Try to get six days a week right now and potentially one on Sunday. We're trying to work out a schedule right now to make it good for you guys. It's a little bit of kind of we're, we're in a, a, a wait and see till free agency, so it's kind of planned a little bit this week and maybe next week. But after that, it's really going to start hitting when it comes to the NFL draft and free agency. So you're going to want to hit the notification bell. You're going to want to subscribe to the channel. You're going to want to do these little things so you don't miss out on the latest Lions news and rumors. Adios.